My name is Kyle Pius. I work for Halix Ecosystem Restoration and I'm one of the lead biologists for the company. I gave a talk on the effectiveness of our predator control program for both cats and rats over the past uh, six to seven years, how we're doing and what are the kind of large scale aspects of our programs that have been effective. The two species that uh, get the most attention from us um, are the federally endangered Hawaiian petrel and the federally threatened Newell shearwater. Uh, both of them have fairly large, uh, important breeding colonies on the island of Kauai. And they face a variety of threat, threats ranging from power line strikes to, uh, to light attraction, and obviously invasive predators. The areas we work on the island are kind of free from human infrastructure and influence, and the only things affecting the colonies there are invasive predators. So they're real, really easy to make a direct impact, positive impact on those colonies by going into those areas and removing the invasive predators. That's a, that's a really personal question for me because there's, you, you get that question a lot and some people kind of struggle for, you know, how to translate the birds into human benefit. And you could, you could go through all these reasons of, you know, the, uh, the guano from the birds, they're excellent nutrient upcyclers. Uh, they provide a lot of nutrients to these watersheds, which increase vegetative productivity, which means we get cleaner water out of those watersheds. Um, they're used a lot by fishermen as ways to find uh, find bait balls and you know find good places to fish but I find for me that what rings most true is that we just have a responsibility to protect these birds because we're there and we're the ones that are impacting them and they should be doing as well as they could be without us and so if we can get them back to their natural natural productivity and reproductive success, it's, it's just our responsibility to do that um, because there's inherent value in having those birds on the island. We stick with mechanical means of removal for all of, all of the species that we're looking to target. So we trap primarily uh, for feral cats and rodents and barn owls, we do a lot of uh, active hunting for them. Uh, for the cats, uh, we use our, our most common trap is a, is a live capture cage trap. And uh, we really like the Tomahawk brand um, because they're collapsible and they're really easy to get out into the system where we work, which is often pretty remote areas. Um, and then for rodents, uh, we use a bunch of different tools, uh, but our, our most common tool for rodents is the Good Nature A24 because we can cover huge areas with it. They require a uh, minimal amount of uh, person hours to check the grids and, uh, and they're active consistently, which is the best thing that we can ask for a trap is for it to function the entire time we're away from it. We have out probably between 400 to 500 uh, Good Nature A24s out around and in the seabird colonies. Uh, they allow us to control rodents when we're not on site, which is really important because it's so difficult to access our sites. And, you know, they're, they're just a major part of, of our toolbox uh, and having them out there in volume like that uh, removes huge numbers of rodents every year. Yeah, so our company, Halix Ecosystem Restoration, has a uh, web page that people can take a look at. Uh, we do have uh, job openings available right now, so if anybody wants to come work at removing invasive species in Hawaii, uh, just go to halix, H-A-L-L-U-X dash eco dot com, and we also have a uh, Facebook and Instagram page.